Hello friends, welcome to Good Taker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve balance binary tree coding problem. So given a binary tree, determine if it's a height balance. For this problem, a height balance binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the depth of two subtrees of every row never differ by more than one. So for example, given the following tree, 3, 9, 20, 15, 7. So this is a balance binary tree. Because we see the left subtree, the depth level is 1, and the right subtree, depth level is 2. So the difference between left subtree and right subtree, the height difference, is just 1. So not more than 1. So return true. It is a balanced tree. And uh, given the following example, so there's a different tree, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. This is not a balanced binary tree, because we see left subtree, the deep depth level there are three levels uh, one two three and the, the right subtree there's only one level so the difference between left subtree and the right subtree the high difference is a two so greater than one so that's not a balanced binary tree so return false so let's take a look at how to come up with a general algorithm uh, and a solution to work well for this problem so this example, a binary tree, and by the definition, a balanced binary tree would be in a formula like this. Maximum depth of a left subtree minus maximum depth of a right subtree, the absolute value should be less or equal to 1. So from this formula, we see this problem actually it's a relate to a problem we have uh, seen before maximum depth of a binary tree so we for this problem maximum depth of binary tree we have a solution to get the maximum depth of the binary tree and uh, using that solution we can help us to solve this balanced binary tree because for the balanced binary tree we still need to get the maximum depth of like a left subtree and right subtree so here, one step we are going to do is that we, we are going to create a function that called maximum depth. So maximum depth. So just by passing a tree node, like the root node. So this maximum depth function, so like we have seen before, so if like a in for scenario that root node itself is a null that's a, just a null empty tree that's a maximum depth is a just a zero and for some normal case if a root node with a left subtree a right subtree in that case the maximum depth would be like a first um, get the height of a um, get the height of a left subtree and right subtree just by call the function itself like a root dot left and um, right depth is a um, maximum depth root dot right so First, uh, calculate the left depth, right subtree depth, and then um, just uh, simply return the bigger number between these two. The bigger number, like the maximum one between left depth and um, all right depth. Get the bigger value and then plus one. Like this two, if the left subtree there are two level, right subtree there's only one level. So the maximum depth is a two and a plus one. So that's a, for the total tree, the maximum height. So, and for this balanced binary tree, when we do get the maximum depth, we can use it to check this condition. To check this condition, we know that whether it's a binary, a balanced binary tree. So for this example, we can do like, so we can check. So if, uh, for the maximum depth, so this 
So the left subtree minus maximum depth right subtree. So if the absolute value is greater than one, so for that case, we should return now. So now here is just as an indicator. As an indicator, it's not a not a balanced, not balanced. And similarly, like we can check if um, the maximum depth of the left subtree or um, right subtree. So like the left subtree or right subtree, then self is not a balanced. We will also return now. So this three condition. So if um, maximum depth left minus maximum depth right, the absolute value is greater than one, we return now. Or the maximum depth of left, so left subtree itself is not balanced, we return now. Right subtree itself is not balanced, return now. So now as an indicator, so when we get the maximum depth of left subtree and right subtree, we check whether it's balanced. So for the whole problem, so it's just checking whether the maximum depth of this um, root node is um, whether is uh, equal to null. So if not equal to null, so so it's a balance tree. If that's um, equal to null, that's not a balance tree. So this this is the uh, the idea to solve this problem. So go back to coding. So here uh, we can solve this problem. So as we just mentioned. So our return would be very uh, uh, simple. Like uh, it, we will create a function that's uh, called a maximum depth, maximum depth. So we are going to check whether it's uh, equal to not. And uh, this max uh, maximum depth function uh, we are going to. Uh, Create it. So we are going to create a, an integer um, here because we we will sometimes return the nobs. So maximum depth. So by passing similarly the tree node. So if uh, root node itself is null, we return the maximum depth as zero. Otherwise, we are going to calculate the left depth and the right depth. So left depth is um, for this function itself, root down left, and the integer are right depth, maximum depth, root. All right. So if left depth or right depth sometimes equal to now, we gonna simply return now. So it's not balanced. So if left subtree or right subtree, we say that. Now is an indicator for the not balance. For if the left subtree is uh, or right subtree itself is not balanced, the whole tree is not balanced. And uh, also, if left subtree and right subtree they they are balanced, but the absolute value of left depths minus right depths
is um, greater than what? Return null. So if um, difference between left subtree and right subtree, the depth difference is uh, greater than what? We return null. It's not a balance tree. Otherwise, finally, uh, it is a balance tree. We can return the maximum depth of the tree. So that is a bigger value between the left depths or right depths and plus one. Okay, before submit, let's uh, quickly check if there are some typos. So as we said, we will for the its balance. We can just uh, check if a maximum depth of this uh, tree whether it's equal to null because null is a indicator for not balance so and we implement this uh, five-way function uh, return integer so if a uh, root null is not return zero and then we calculate the left depth and the right depth so left depth so if a uh, left depth or right depth either one equal to null so it's um, not balanced we return uh, not balanced for the whole tree and if left depth and uh, right depth they uh, they are balanced they are balanced but their depth the height difference is greater than one so the whole tree is still not balanced and otherwise we return the the height so height is a left depth and the right depth, the bigger one value plus one. So that's a max depth for the whole tree. Uh, okay, let's click submit. Okay, accepted. So the solution is correct. We successfully solve this um, balanced binary tree coding problem. So you see, this is a balanced binary tree coding problem. So it's uh, related to the maximum depth of binary tree coding problem. So when we facing uh, like a binary tree coding problem in a coding interview, so like uh, sometimes uh, coding interview, this is uh, really related. So we, we can use uh, our existing knowledge for, for previous problem to solve the new problem, to solve the new situation. So that's a good way to concur the coding interview. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscription to Good Taker YouTube channel. See you next time.